Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. Listen, so we're talking, we, we somehow, we're talking about uh, what you're into uh, to making stuff here. So I'm going to go to this. I was going to go to something else, but let's jump in to this story while we're here, babyface. Um, I'm going to put this up on the screen. This is in the Truth is About Guns. I shared? Yeah, federal ban will, uh, Bill, would take home gun manufacturing back to the Stone Age. Uh, back in May, one of the Senate's most dedicated anti-gun members, Connecticut's Richard Blumenthal, introduced S.3743, the Untraceable Firearms Act of 2020. The target, of course, is those scary objects of gun grabbers' nightmares, ghost guns. Blumenthal's bill would, among other things, ban the possession of programmable manufacturing devices like CNC mills and 3D um, additive printers unless you're a licensed manufacturer. It goes on. Uh, not to be outdone, the legislative stupidity department by the other House of Congress, Maryland Rep. Uh, Jamie Raskin, declared hold my bear and f- uh, filed his own version in the House, H.R. 7468, the Stop Home Manufacture of Ghost Guns Act of 20. Oh, Christ sakes. Uh, Come and get me. Yeah, uh, there is no problem with making your guns at home. <laughs> yeah, it shouldn't. It you isn't illegal. Yeah. So. Oh so, yeah. So from the from one standpoint, mm-hmm. that cat that genie is never going back in that bottle. No, no, I don't. Think, I don't think it is. No. You got somebody with a couple of files. You get a a good guy with a Nicholson file and maybe a drill. That they can make you anything you want. You yeah. don't need specialized tooling. We're way past so, that. We've been making these things oh, for yeah. oh my gosh, couple ever. hundred years quality for a couple hundred years yeah. now. Yeah, way past it. Way past it. Yep. But but this one, this thing wants to go further. So it says here, Raskin's bill wanders a little bit farther down insanity lane than does Blumenthal's. Uh, it shall be unlawful for any person in or affecting interstate or foreign commerce to transfer or offer to transfer to any person other than a licensed manufacturer of firearm manufacturing machine. Except by, this, all, this all gets deep, right? We could get lost in the so minutia. Basically, everything in Patrick's garage. Oh, God, yeah, anything that's in that garage could be used. Yeah, but the, the problem is, first of all, it's nonsense, so... Uh, I don't think you know anything going. like this should this, ever this exist. Is, but the, the, all, the all these things are so you, you got to realize, like when, when you get up in the morning to do something, you're doing something because you need to do it. Mm-hmm. These guys are getting up in the morning and doing these show bills because then they can say, "I propose that bill." I propose. You know, it's never going to get passed. It's never go. You know, yeah. they might pass it. Nancy <sighs> Pelosi might pass. Side burns, yeah. but it's never going to get passed. I in think. The I think in a certain world, I don't want to say I, I, I'm in the category of never say never, because I think in a certain world, these idiots are crazy enough to do it. They're crazy enough to do it. And here's my problem. These same machines you use to make a lot of other stuff. So yes. I don't care that you could use it to make a gun. I don't give I don't give a crap about that. But you can use these things to make lots of other things. So now people that want to make other things, well, if something like this exists, it makes it more difficult for them to be able to do that because the machines they have can make other things. And you sh- a human beings should never be able to, to be blocked from uh, inventing things, right? So basically, you can invent and, ma- and manufacture your own stuff. You just can't make firearms and sell them to someone else without licensing. So, funny thing here about this whole situation. Um, in doing the video that went up on Monday for the Colt 22 that I have that Carbine Williams made, mm-hmm. I did reading on Carbine Williams and how he came to invent some really cool guns. The dude was a convicted felon because he murdered somebody. He oh, in, Back when he was 19 in 1921 or something like that, the he was moonshining as a as a teenager. He was he was a moonshiner. The the uh, local cops rolled up on him, took all of his equipment, and as they were running away, he started shooting. His posse started shooting at them, and they killed the sheriff. He got charged with it and was found guilty of murder. Um, in prison, the 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 uh, the main guy in charge of the prison realized that he had such an aptitude for for mechanical stuff, mechanical knowledge. 
that he was like they gave him full rights to the like full access to the machine shop and while he was in prison was making guns inventing guns and inventing <laughs> ideas and stuff like that imagine imagine anybody even considering that today if you're like yeah well i'm really good at machinery can i just work on guns in the machine shop yeah sure uh, <laughs> oh, yeah yeah let's get the convicted murderer to be working on our, our guns he would all the cops would all every uh, officer that worked there bring their guns to him he would clean them oil and put it back together make sure they were running right like mm -hmm. and then he invented some of the most prolific things the uh short uh, short stroke gas piston that's his idea and who, what's uh, the name of this guy uh, Carbine Williams is, Carbine is the Williams. nickname. Okay. Short stroke gas piston mm -hmm. and the M1 Carbine from World War II, both his inventions. Mm -hmm. And those inventions went on to make many, many other inventions. But mm -hmm. yeah, imagine that today. Somebody being like, hey, let's uh, let's let the felon in prison, the murderer, uh, design and build guns. It would never happen. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I, but no, I, that, <clears throat> going this... back to it, that's all been out of the bag. The, the genie's out of the bottle. Let's yeah. Let's, Absolutely. Not stopping somebody. Uh, Millsurp Mike says, uh, be careful in many states. Enough crap has been thrown up against the wall that some of these laws have stuck. That's and, scary uh, He says, uh, and there's always rhinos out there uh, willing to compromise, of course. Um, there's, there's certain lines, man. I think we just need to have certain lines. Like, for example, um, yeah, if there's no Second Amendment in America, we're basically in a civil war as far as I'm concerned. That's how yes. that works. A there's cool certain civil war. Yeah, there's certain lines. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest about it, right? There's certain lines that when you cross this line, you don't have freedom anymore. Yep. And one of those things is is creative freedom, right? The ability for you to 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 what what is that? Necessity is the mother of invention. The yep. what a lot of what we were talking about here, right? That you've got like you could be that same kind of person, Patrick. So can so so can uh, Rich, right? Lots of folks out there. Who knows? crazy thoughts you know one in a kajillion even me might come up with some idea for something you mess around like oh i think i can make my gun run better or do this thing if i do this you have that ability to do that you you take us to the next level of evolution if, you, if, if anyone's trying to stop that forget it there's no there's no point in uh in, in us going Go further than that government oversight government overreach is is stifling all sorts of industries mm -hmm. all so not just the firearms industry mm -hmm. all sorts of industries yeah yeah so oh, life will find a way yeah yeah and and i think people are finding ways now i mean the more mm -hmm. doing unfortunately sometimes you got to do something that like if you want to design and build something better uh you, you gotta just do it yeah. if if it's better it'll work but it's it's ridiculous that so much is being we, stifled. I think people people have to to um, to stop this kind of craziness. But I don't know, man. I don't I don't feel like it's going to stop. Night Train said they made a movie about Carbine Williams years ago, starring mm -hmm. Jimmy Stewart. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yes. Um, and uh, Matthew Reed says he's looking for that movie right now. And Len Holt says that was a great movie. I never saw that. Maybe I need to look that up. In, Carbine Williams, in interesting Special man. K, my friend and neighbor is throwing me under the bus. And backing uh, it up over me. Let's see. Uh, what is this? Uh, Special K says, oh, man, they got Flying Rich as a guest at Sherry, uh, Shooting Gallery. Any should be in there with Babyface P and Lifestyles and Locks Unloaded. <laughs> but, but, uh, is that what you're talking about? Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He Listen, Rich uh, gave the plug. You know, he tried to make the connect for Shooting Gallery. Any. <laughs> we'll make it happen. We'll make it happen. You know, baby steps. We're getting there. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.